Okay, so so as we really dive into the next step here, let me kind of just cover some bases. So if, if it's not for the folder, for the bookmarks folder, there, there's seven bookmarks in that folder. Um, right. And all you can do if, if you don't have access to the folder, because you may be on a different computer someday and, and not not have your bookmarks. And and so in that case, you can always just come to, in fact, let me start you from the beginning. Open up another tab, go to Facebook, because I want I want to show you how to get to here without the folder. Um, but the reason why we do the folder is because, yeah, then you, it, it gets overwhelming having to navigate through everything. Um, yeah, I understand so, it. It's habit. I just go to the yeah, same yeah, browser sure. and then I realize, oh, I shouldn't yes. have gone there. Not, not overwhelming for me, overwhelming for you because you're brand new. So as you, right. as you try to navigate, you're, yeah, you'll get lost. So that's why the seven bookmarks are all you need to focus on from this point on is just those seven, those seven tabs. But if you don't have the bookmark folder, then you can just come to your Facebook just right here and then click on ads manager to the left. Okay. That would take you into the, the dashboard, the ads manager, and then you can navigate through everything. You can navigate to everything th through here. So this is your actual, so this is one of seven bookmarks. This is your ads manager. Now- Yeah, I've been in here because I noticed the other person that was showing me was showing me how different things are up here. Yes. And so I guess I had created this one somehow. Okay. But he created this one. Yeah. So, so I don't know how there's several ones, but there is. And we're yeah, that, on this one. That's fine. Yeah, that, yeah, we're on that one. So on your on your Google Chrome browser, this this one here should be bookmarked. Yeah. yeah this is one of your bookmarks. Is this where you wanted to go? I hope. <laughs> now that I've taken us yes. here. <laughs> Perfect. So what we're looking at now is the cost per result. So so it's, okay. it's still fairly new. So you're at 0 0.04. Which is that bad? I, I know you were saying that 0 0.01 was really good and 0 0.02 was was good and 0 0.03 was yeah. okay. See, I'm at I'm at the not okay, I guess. No, it, it, it's it's okay. It's it, it could be it could be worse. You could be at 0.08. And and oh. and we're, oh, we're, yeah. we're screwed. But 0.04 and it, and it has. Okay. I don't think it's been fully twenty four. Has it been fully twenty four hours? Because it started on the thirteenth, right? Think well, when I looked, I happened to be awake at midnight when at the thirteenth, and I, it wasn't on then. It must have started later in the morning. Started, started at twelve a.m. on the third. Yeah. But in this case, it hasn't even been twenty four hours. So right. there's a great chance that the 0.04 would would will drop down to 0.03, maybe even 0.02. But but even if it's yeah. at 0.04, totally fine. We'll go up go up at least a thousand likes, and and that's all you really right, need. right. And that's I know I don't I don't need a whole yeah. bunch of likes. I just remember you saying that the the 0.02 was was good. <laughs> yeah, and so I didn't know if that made a big difference. And it's really just putting a comma in that number. So if we can get to a thousand. That I mean, okay. totally fine. Off of off of what fifty bucks? I think it was. So yeah, so, yeah. So there's absolutely zero other way you would have gotten that high on a like on a exactly. like. Exactly. I mean, I've been so, on it for a couple, two or three months now, and I've only I got two. I think. Oh, pff, you, again, so yeah, yeah. It, as as I kind of covered on on our last call, that's that's that was one of my original services, right? Okay. So so I would offer running a like ad, which is what I did for your sister. I ran only right. like that for her. Right. So I kind of went over that in the, in the beginning or not, right. but on our last call. And so you'd be surprised after speaking to so many people on, on this, I would say, I would say 99% of them, 99% of, of the thousands of people that I've spoken to since 2016 on this exact ad, 99% of them have spent maybe, maybe, maybe two, three, four years yeah. click an invite, trying to get folks to like their business page from their friend list. Right. And now they're at, now they're, now they may be at 300 likes and it's been three years. Right. Yeah. So, I can so, see yeah. that. So, yeah. So there's no other way to get higher than, than running this like ad and 0.04 is not bad. It's not the worst at all, like at all, at all. So you're good. You're good. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So, so now what we're going to do is we're going to, we're going to shift into, into teaching you how to run a video ad. Now, okay. you can be running image ads, or you, or you can run a video ad. Um, but nowadays, there's so many there's so there's so many different tools, and there's also um, video editors that you can hire for very very inexpensive to do simple little videos. So if you're okay. not, 
doing them yourself. Like me, I actually do video myself, like just selfie style, tutorial, tutorial style where I'm sharing my screen and it's me on face so or me on camera. It's my face on camera. So uh-huh. that's my YouTube channel. That's my Facebook page. I put out nothing but me on video. But some people are building a business where it's really not about them, right? It's about it's about the product. It's right. about, about the brand or it's about it's about the company in, in this case, right? So if that is you, then yeah, you can literally get people to do simple videos on 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 a on a particular subject or on a particular product. Um, now, is this people that are professional? Oh yeah. Oh videographer? yeah. Videographer. They have I, the equipment, I guess. Yeah, really. It's and really okay. the camera. Um, a lot of times you can do fancy, fancy. You'll be surprised. So many nice videos that we see on the internet today on social media specifically are shot from an iPhone. Many, many. Yeah, many. yeah, I have seen that. Yeah, yeah, so many, so many. So, so the the phone today, the 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 quality of a camera phone is amazing today. Um, the iPhone in particular. So that one uh-huh. is really, really good if you have an iPhone. But it just, it just, and I guess that's what we kind of want to talk about here for really a few minutes is what's kind of the strategy? Is the strategy to to do, like, what is your strategy on 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 content? Whether not not because you have images you could put out images for sure we can we're going to be running ads on images for sure but is video up your alley at all like what do you what do you video think? is up my alley it, it's just one of those things that i haven't had time to look into but i know that everything you know meta is going to you know everything on there is video pretty much so uh, to not have a video almost makes me stick out but i just haven't had time to look at it yeah. So then would you be, would you be the face of it? Like, would you be the brand? Would you be, is this? I wouldn't brand? want to be only because I'm afraid. Um, I don't know, you know, I'm a controller for a company and mm-hmm. I, I work there full time and yeah. I don't know if they would want me to ha- show me mm-hmm. part of another company mm-hmm. since I am at a manager level. You know yeah. what I mean? I, I, oh, yeah. It's just something that I would rather just show my product and sell mm-hmm. my product and not have me as the company mm-hmm. because I would be afraid that like clients would see me with another company's name mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. and then it wouldn't look good. <laughs> are these, are these, or, or let me, let me put it this way. Is your, is your company locally based or is it a global corporate? It's, we have three branches. So we have one here in Dallas, one in, Houston and then one in San Antonio. So it's Texas based. Okay. Um, but we we also travel outside. So we go to all different states. Um, we just don't have okay. uh, branches there. Gotcha. Gotcha. Okay. So then maybe because if it was just Texas based, for example, you, that'd be easy. You can you can just exclude Texas in your ad. Yeah. So so that'd be simple. But if yeah, if if people are kind of traveling all over the country and and all of a sudden, I see Diane in my newsfeed promoting a art product. <laughs> yeah, it might, be, it might be. Yeah, they. I don't think they would be very happy. They'd say, yeah. "Well, you know, do your own thing on your on your side business, but you know, yeah. you work yeah. for us." <laughs> yes, for sure. So then, so then, yeah, having I guess that might be the 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 best route is having a video editor, and I'll find I'll find a few. I'll send a few your way. Um, okay. But there's a site called. Are you familiar with Fiverr? the site fiverr.com yes yes i am yeah fiverr has i've been i've been using fiverr for yeah this, this entire time six years um that i've been doing this so i've, okay. I've hired graphic designers on there i've hired video editors on there um i've hired thumbnail designers to design my thumbnails for youtube so fiverr is 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 a very very credible website and the people on on there are professionals and you can hire them for dirt cheap right so okay can, yeah, so the whole strategy with that is I probably would maybe have someone and let me let me let me sort through some. I'll I'll, I'll find a few for you. Um okay. Yeah, let me let, I'll do that part for you is is find you some good ones that are inexpensive. Because all based really- on what I've seen, uh, I don't know if you've seen any kind of painting videos, but it'd be more of kind of an over um like over a table kind of thing where mm-hmm, someone's mm-hmm. painting something. Um, not that so, if someone's physically in it, but you can, you have an image of somebody painting yes. something. Yes. Yes. And there's even, there's even websites 
artificial intelligence AI websites that oh wow yes that can where you can type in you can type in what you're what you want and then it'll make a video out of it. Oh wow, yeah, that would be really that, cool. That yeah. yeah, I'll send you that link because that might be a better route because that the, yeah and but a lot of these websites nowadays that are that are really starting to boom because ai is really really booming yeah they it is many many different softwares are not softwares but many different websites are subscription based so so uh, okay like a good but but they're worth it like they're super super worth it and majority yeah. maybe maybe about a hundred bucks a month um, okay it's kind of like the the going average rate for most of these different AI websites, one will create an image for you. You type in whatever you want and it'll spit out an amazing image for you. Oh, and, wow. Or one will spit out um, a, a video of a, a video of a human being and in your voice. Wow. So yeah, there's different websites. Oh, wow. Yeah. Okay. I, just, I just spent a lot of money on an AI coaching uh, uh, program that I'm currently in right now. And, and wow. yeah, amazing websites and, and majority of them are about majority of them have some type of monthly subscription fee. So it just okay. depends on if, how many videos do we really plan on needing um, and, and really trying to right. justify the price? Yeah, I could see how, I mean, I, I do see sometimes the same video over and over, but as a customer, I don't know if I'd want to see the same one every single time. Oh, you know, I think mm -hmm. the product in a different way, maybe oh, yeah. every three months or something would be good or every few, few weeks. Yeah. Like every, every month, like maybe. It, right. That's why in your case, like, we'll see if it's cheaper to have some type of AI website where I'm spending maybe a hundred bucks a month or yeah. cheaper to maybe hire someone on Fiverr and maybe pay him 50 bucks to do, to do my one video. Okay. Right. So I'll, I'll look into the right. different price, price points and see what, what's worth it because yeah, you really just need maybe, maybe one to two videos a month. Um, okay. And that's it. So, so yeah, let me do a little bit of due diligence on see, to see which, who would be cheaper hiring someone okay. or having, having a website, a software. Yeah. I'd be, I'd be good with that. I yeah. think that would be a good way to market, um, yeah. to mm. market it. For sure. So what I wanted to do was just show you how to, how to run a video and, and the power of it and and how to track the people who are actually viewing it and how to reach okay. those who are, who are actually viewing it. So okay. do you have any video on like, like any, any random video on your computer right now? No, I, I don't ever take videos. <laughs> I, am so the, I am the one person who never uses my phone. I take, um, uh, I've taken pictures using my phone of the product itself, but I don't, I don't use video. Okay. I'm not even sure. So I know people do video. What I can do is I can, um, do you have, do you have Facebook on your phone? You have Facebook on your phone, right? Uh huh. I do. Okay. So just like you post. So here's what you can easily do. Just what kind of phone do you have? Do you have a decent phone? It, it's the plus one. I would not say it's it's good, but it, it's it's a it's not the Samsung that I typically get, but it's the plus one. My next one will be the Samsung. My children have the um the other one. The iPhones. It's, yes, they have the iPhones. They have the good ones, but I've always kind of had the Samsungs. Um, that's fine. I don't know. Maybe I need to switch over to an iPhone eventually. No, not necessarily. Uh, Samsung, no. they have great phones too. Uh, oh, okay. Yeah. So, but again, it just comes down to the strategy. Do, are, are we going to really be doing phone, doing, doing videos yourself on your phone or, or, or the other two options that I mentioned, you know, so, but doing it on your phone is, is doing it on your phone is really, if you're trying to build a personal brand, if you were on the camera, then that's, that would make more sense. But if you're not you're right. in the face of it, then let's let's look into the other two options, either hiring someone okay. or or the software website. Okay, I think but, that's probably the best. I I know that yeah. when I've experimented with um, lighting and stuff with pictures, mm -hmm. I did find that when I would go and use uh, Canva and then put images from my, from what I had done mm -hmm. into Canva and modified them, that looked better than the what I the pictures I took. Mm -hmm. So I spent money on. Um, on lighting and stuff like that. And I found that just by using a, an image of what I had built and then putting that into Canva actually mm -hmm. looked better. 
Okay, good. Even though I was trying to take pictures of, of the same thing, um, it just didn't look as good. What I'd be doing if I were you, since you do have a you do have a solid income, it's time to now put a little bit into your business, and and that'd be yeah. one thing that I would invest. That'd be one thing I'd I, I'd invest either in an editor, hiring someone, yeah, very inexpensive, or I'd have a, some type of software. Okay, because I you, agree, you don't need to be doing video yourself at all, at all, at all. Yeah, I I feel like it. I would spend a lot of time trying to figure out how to do it. You and would. then it probably wouldn't look really good. Yeah. It, I think that was the point I was trying to make. Yeah. I don't know if it was, I'm not that, that good at it. My sister would be good at it, but I, I wouldn't be. Yeah. No worries at all. So let me do this. Stop share. And I'm going to share my screen Okay. And, and I'll walk you through how, how simple it is. So, so like, for example, let's say you do have some website and it, and it's doing videos for you, or you hire some okay. Fiverr and, and they're doing a video. What, what the end product and the end result is going to be is the video. So whether it's a website or whether it's someone that you hired, what's going to happen at the end is you're going to now have a download of a new video. Okay. So once you have that video, let me, um, let me share, let me share. Are you, uh, do you recommend it being 30 seconds long or more than that? It could, it could be, it could be anywhere from 30 to a minute um long okay. videos and and it could it, it could even go a little higher a minute and a half um i've done long form video my entire career so i, I i'm just all long form video but in your case with products like yours yeah short form is good because you can you could definitely and that's another thing is that when whether it's a website or whether we're hiring someone what they end up doing because they're they're professionals what they end up doing is they end up editing the video to fit other platforms so they'll, uh, yeah. they'll give you a size for Facebook. They'll give you a size for TikTok. They'll give you a size, an image, the dimension for Instagram. Okay. Right? So that way you can repurpose it is what we call it. You repurpose, you have one video and you simply repurpose it, meaning you post it on other platforms, but the size is what matters. So right. They'll, they'll I've had to do better. that with my images. Yes. Um, yeah. When I post to Instagram, it's a different, a different size. They, they put more of a square. Mm -hmm. um, it, it's a different shape. Yes. Yes. So what I'm trying to say is that whether it's a website or someone that we hire, what you're going to receive in the end is the actual file is the actual video. Okay. And that video will, you'll like, for example, if it's a website, you'll just simply click a button, download it. And I'm going to help you with all that. I'm going to walk you through all that, whatever website, okay. we'll all that together. So don't, don't think you're going to be lost or anything, but, but I just already know how it works at the end of it. Okay. We'll click a button and then boom, you have a download and that is your video. And that video download file will be here in your downloads. Okay. So whether it's from a website or whether some someone on Fiverr did it for us and now they're sending it to you, it's coming to you like this in a file. Okay. Okay. So so once we have that file, and even if 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 I did it on my cell phone, I'd I'd want to transfer it to my computer and I'd either email it to myself or I would upload it to 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 Google to my Google Drive. So if it's on my cell phone, I did a video on my cell phone, I'm gonna now upload it to my Google Drive on my cell phone and then come over here to to my Google Drive online or or Dropbox or any anything like that that you may use. Um, right. And then I would come here, whether it's Drive, Dropbox or whether it's my Google Drive, and then I would download it to my computer. Yeah. So so at the yeah, end. I, I, yeah, I've got that part. Yeah, perfect. Okay, cool. So this is a simple random video that I have here on my, on my computer, on my desktop. And so once I have the finished product, all I'm going to do is now come to my page, to my business page, and I'm going to post it just like I would anything else. Okay. So so here is the green. I'll click on the button. I'll go to that specific video. I'll open it. And then here's what I want to do as well. This is very, very important. We're going to go over this a million more times. So don't don't worry about trying to memorize all this right now. And, I, and I'm recording it for you. So 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 you'll be good. But okay. the whole strategy is to get it over here onto onto Facebook. And whatever we write out, we want to make sure that the text there's no grammar errors, no periods, no question marks missing. We want to make sure that that the text is perfect. And I'll read yeah. all that with you before we do any of that. But the reason why that needs to be perfect is because once we actually post it and then and then go back into the ads manager and run it as an ad, we can no longer change the text. Okay. So if we missed a sentence or if we missed a period, then then 
I mean, it's not the end of the day, end of the world. All we would have to do is 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 delete the entire thing and start all over. Yeah, yeah, I understand how you have to proof it. Yeah, you just got to really. Otherwise, you're spending too much time. Yeah. Yeah. So, so let's say, for example, this is my video, and I'll just put hello, for example. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to always post the video, write out the text, and then I'm going to post. Now, that video will be public on my Facebook business page. Okay, so once it's once this thing posts, then all we got to do now, so whatever pops up here, just click cancel. You don't need any of, of those options there because we're going to do everything in the ads manager. So as okay. I mentioned, and sometimes it takes a few minutes for an actual video to show on, on your business page. So if anything, we'll just, we'll just give it a few. Yeah. We'll just give it a few, a few minutes, but what we can do now is once it's, once it's there, all I'm going to do is come over to my bookmarks and I'm going to click on ads manager. And so now as I'm in the ads manager, what I want to do, there's 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 really a three-step process to run a successful Facebook video ad or any any Facebook ad really for that matter, but but we'll keep it on video in this case. So step one okay. was posting it on the business page first. So now now it's there. So let me refresh this page. Okay, so we posted it on the business page first. Okay. Okay. So it's there. And then now what I'm going to do is I'm going to just delete this post because I'll just use a different video for this example. But but that's how you post it. Simple, just like you would, you would an image. Now what we're going to do that, and I call that step one. Step one is posting it on the business page first. Step two is then coming over here to your bookmarks. And there's there, there's there's two two bookmarks in your other folder in the Google Chrome one. But there's two bookmarks that, that we'll be going to. So in, in this case, with step two. Step two is now going to the bookmarks to our ads manager, manager. Okay. Me, not the ads manager, excuse me, to audiences. Oh. We, we have one bookmark that is that we saved, which is custom audiences. Okay. So that's one of your seven in the Google Chrome um, um, browser. You, okay. have, you, have, you have custom audiences. Okay. So step two is now coming over here to our custom audiences and creating an audience of that video now okay this is exactly how you do it so all we're going to do is click the blue button and these are all the different um what facebook calls sources these are all the different ways that we can create a custom audience now in your case and again we're going to go over this a million more times but are you are you actually doing something yeah i'm actually going through because i'm um because i'm i'm not sure if i'm oh you can't see my screen i i see your desktop i am but i'm so not sorry. sure what so, else i'm supposed so to sorry yes i am so sorry let me start let me start that over okay so oh, okay so if i so i would have my bookmarks i would go to your custom audience bookmarks yes. okay yeah and then okay. and then if you don't have your bookmarks then all you're going to do is go to the three lines and then you'll see audience yes this is where yeah. we're at. audiences okay so so audiences is what we're going to be building from this point on tons and tons of audiences, whether it's around a video or whether it's around a website. Okay. So all we're going to do there is now click on the blue button, blue button, custom audience. And these are all the different sources, all the different ways that you can create an audience. So, so website and video is what we'll be doing a, a lot of, um, Customer list, yes, we'll do customer list eventually. Um, the whole goal is to is to is to start to do customer lists. But what where we start is website and video. You don't really okay. need any of these other audiences, like like Instagram account. I can create a custom audience of everyone who engages with my Instagram account, which would which might be a good one a good one for you once we really get your your accounts up and going. Um, okay. Creating an audience of everyone who engages. So, for example, if you saw one of my posts on Instagram and you clicked the heart and you liked it, you're in that audience. If you clicked it on that post, you're in that audience. If you just simply came to my page, my Instagram page, you're in that audience. If you follow me on Instagram, you're in that audience. So now what I can do is I could take that audience and show ads to them. Wow. Okay. Powerful. Like super powerful, like super, super powerful. Um, so Instagram account, we'll, we'll, we'll eventually create an audience of that Facebook page. Same exact thing. If you like my page, you're going to see my ad. 
right? Okay. That's, that's the Facebook page. But and then and then there's, there's all these other ones, but you're not going to need any of these other ones. So so in this case, we'll we'll just we'll go video. We'll go video for this example. So okay. we posted it on the business page first. That's step one. Step two is coming over here and creating the custom audience of those who actually watch that video. Now I'm going to show you over here. So as we click on next, all I'm going to do is I'm going to click on the drop down engagement. And these are the different timestamps that I can that I can create. So I, so if I have okay. a 30 second video, I can create an audience of those who watched it for at least three seconds. 10 okay. seconds, 15 so This seconds. is similar to what we did the other day. Um, it's just through video. Yes, through, through video. So, okay. so this is, this is, this is, this, I can't stress enough how, how crazy effective this is. Like, this is why we continue to see ads from the same company or the same person, because we watched a percentage of their video. You may yeah. not have even known it, but you watched oh, uh, ten I, seconds. Well, I I knew something was weird. Um, <laughs> yeah, yeah. A, a, a year or two ago, mm -hmm. I always wondered why, how they knew that, but now right. it, you know it's all known now how and, it happens. And that's why Facebook has has been so dominant um, in the social media space when it came when it comes to advertising. Because because of all this data that they allow you to to kind of um, gather. Now they're not giving us people's names and phone numbers, right? So there's yeah. there's definitely privacy involved where we're not, you know, they're not we're not spamming anybody, but but Facebook's just taking the data. So so they know those who watched your one minute video for 15 seconds. Right. Right. So so if we do have a one minute video, and that's kind of what I go around, I go, I what I what I really base all these video audiences on is is really 15 seconds. Um, three seconds okay. is a little too short. Even 10 seconds is a little too short. If you sat there and you watched at least 15 seconds of my video, whether my video was 30 seconds, whether it was a minute, whether it was a minute and a half, whatever, you sat there and you watched at least 15 seconds, you're gonna be in my audience. Okay. Um, and then, and then the higher you go up, the smaller that audience will be. Wow. So a lot, okay. of my, a lot of times my clients will say, well, David, why don't we just create an audience around those who watch the entire thing? 95%. You, <laughs> totally, can, you totally can, but that audience is going to be small. Yes, it's, they would be. Too, yeah. It'd be too small. It'd be too small to, to target. So we kind of want to keep it a, a little bit more broader and, and, and bigger. Um, so 15 seconds is what we, is what we normally do. So okay. once we check that box, that's what we're going to go with is 15 seconds. Now I'm going to choose the video. So up here, I'm going to simply just go to my page, whatever page it may be. If you have different pages, you'll see that, see it, see them all here in the drop down. And so now all I'm going to do is I'm going to choose that page. And then now it'll pull all of my videos. So every video okay. that I've ever posted, it'll pull right here. And then all I got to do is just check that box, click confirm and then give it a name. So this could be, okay. this, you know, product one. Let, actually, give me the name of one of your products. Um, all Things Fall. All Things Fall. Fall. F-A-L-L. -L. Yeah. Okay, perfect. So Just what because I, fall's coming up, that's okay, all. Perfect. So All Things Fall. And that's what, what, what we want to really do is, is, is start to name our videos. Start to give our videos a name. That, okay. that's, that's what you want to get in the habit of. Do they tie back into the product you think, or I would, I it would doesn't matter? The product. Yeah, I would definitely okay. tie back into the product. So, you know, you know, which one is which for sure. Okay. So, so let's call this one, all things fall, um, all things fall video, all things fall video. And then what I would do is I would put in parentheses 15 seconds. So that's okay. what we're, we're building is all things fall video. 15 seconds and the retention okay. 365. So all that means is that Facebook is going to keep these people in this audience for a year. Oh, wow. So okay. I can always, I can, and, and you can always drop it down too. So in many, many cases, um, and this is just as, as we really start to really get the groove and, and really get used to it and really start to really scale up um, where I start teaching you different ways to, to do the retention. Like for example, for example, let's say, let's say, Let's say we we're running a fall promotion and let's say we were only doing it for the month of October. Mm -hmm. so, so you do it for 30 days? Or? I, I, I'd probably only do it for 30 days just to keep these people in this audience for 30 days so I can keep retargeting them the entire month. Okay. And, and these are people who watched this video this month, for example. 
right? But but just to just to kind of not confuse not confuse you right now. 365. 365 is the max, and and mm -hmm. that's what you can just leave this at. 365. And then all I'm going to do now is create audience. Click on done, and that's it. So step one, I posted on the business page first. Step two, I came over here and I created my custom audience. Now, there's no one in that audience yet because the ad hasn't gone live, right? The, the ad, we could have set it for tomorrow at 6 a.m. It hasn't gone mm -hmm. live yet, right? So we're doing all this before it goes okay. Um, and before we even run it, because I haven't even got to that step, which is step three. Step three is now when we go over here and we run the ad. So all we're going to do now is click on all tools or go to your bookmarks. That one of seven is your ads manager. Okay. So now, as I come over here, now this is step three. Step three is we now go and run the ad. Okay, so, so as we now click on create, Actually, let me make sure. Actually, I'll, I'll see the page over here. So as as we click on create, if I was running, and this is what we're going to do, we'll do this a couple of times. Um, that's why what what I really want to do is, is really narrow in how we're going to get our videos, where we're going to get our videos from, because the way we really want to launch is the like ad and then and then a few, maybe maybe two to three awareness ads of video. Awareness okay. is for views. Awareness is how you get thousands and thousands of views on a video. Okay. So as we really roll out, and that's and that's really that's really the first what 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 the what what I always and here's what I what I teach agents, but it's the same for any business. For example, with Dawn, what I would have taught her on this step is uh, and it's what I teach every every agent, and and we're gonna we're gonna really relate it to your business here, but this first video is an intro video. So with real okay. estate, for example, what I have them do is I have them introduce themselves, their background, okay. their experience, their passion, why they're so you know involved in their community and why they love helping people buy and sell real estate, all that stuff. It's not a pitch. It's an intro. It's just lending. So, so an about me. About me. Yeah. Video that's, that's about the company, I guess. Yeah. The whole strategy with that is to run this first video ad under awareness and literally get tens of thousands of views. Wow. Okay. And what we do with that is we then now have that being built in our custom audience. So, okay. so if this was, let's say, for example, this first video is an intro video, and that's what we're going to do with your product, we're, or maybe even the whole company. Let's introduce the company first. Let's let's maybe introduce the brand, maybe introduce the products and 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 not make it one product specific, maybe just make it overall. And even if you only have one product, that's fine. But just make it more of a of a, of a general here. Here's who we are. Here's what we do. Here's why we love, you know, getting people to to, to love this craft. We'll, we'll We'll think about our angle on that. But okay. the, the whole strategy here, the first video ad is normally awareness. Or actually, it's always awareness, and it's normally an intro video. Okay. I so think just to kind of point on that, um, I'm probably in the phase of building the brand in a way because I've it, it takes a while to to build the products, and I, I probably have um, like eight products, but I want to build a lot more, mm -hmm. and there's more color I want to put in and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. So right now it's, I have, I don't have a whole lot of products. So I think the brand mm -hmm. would just need more mm -hmm. awareness than actually bringing people to look at a lot of products Yes, because there's not yeah. a lot. Yes. We need to, we need to do, do a video like that and it's not going to cost a lot at all. So, okay. so that's going to be our first video. So let's say for example, that was the video we put on the page. Step one. Okay. Step two, we just created the custom audience. Now that custom audience is set and ready to build. There's no one in the audience yet because we haven't ran the ad yet. But step two is complete. We created the custom audience of that video. Now we're going to okay. come here to step three and we're going to run it as awareness. So as I okay. click on that green button, this pops up. Don't worry about this drop down here. Don't touch anything above. You don't need any of that. We just need to click on awareness and that's it. We hit continue. And now we're going to go through our three steps. So what I would do over here is I would name this exactly what I named my custom audience. So what did we put? Okay. We put um, what did we put? We put fall. What, what was it again? All, all things fall. All things. Fall. All mm -hmm. things fall. Yeah. I, I mean, going back to it being about us, I'd probably name it something else. But well, that's yeah. one of my products is, yes. is a, a all things fall. Yes. 
Perfect. So you get the idea here. So all yes. I'm going to do is I'm going to name it. And this is really just the first step because over here, one, two, three. These are the three tabs that I showed you on our last call. Okay. Names, add, yes. set, and add. So all I'm going to do up here is just name it all things fall video. And then in parentheses, in parentheses, I'm going to put what I chose as my objective awareness. Okay. Okay. So, so that's awareness categories. Don't need to worry about that. That's step one. That's it. The campaign okay. we chose the objective. We gave it a title and that was it. Now we're going to come down to step two. We're all we're going to do, and it's very similar to the like ad, very, very similar at this point, very similar. So all I'm going to do here is I'll, I'll just, I'll, normally I don't name it all things fall video again. Over here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to name, I'm going to give it a description at the top of what I do here at the bottom. So, so okay. for example, as we come down, don't worry about performance goal. Don't worry about actually just, yeah, definitely worry about this. If you have multiple pages, make sure you're on the right page. So just hit the drop down and you'll see all your pages and just choose the right one. And then as we scroll down budget, five bucks a day, um, a lot, of, I would say maybe 99% of the time, 99% of the time I'll go with lifetime budget. It's the same okay. dollar amount. So whether I'm spending five bucks a day or I'm spending 25 bucks for the entire campaign, it, it's it's still the same. But the difference okay. are, is that in this case, let's say, for example, let's say our budget is a hundred bucks. Let actually, let's say, let's say, for example, our budget. Yeah. Let's say, let's say it's a hundred dollars or what we're spending over. And let's say we're going to run it for 10 days. I can okay. only go $10 a day and, and, and then set my calendar started tomorrow started at 6 a.m. So now we're going to go into the next day, start times, the next okay. day, 6 a.m. And this will be local time. This will be central time. You'll see it on your on your end. Okay. But we're always going to go the next day, 6 a.m. And let's say, for example, we were only going to run it for 10 days. So we're going to go from the 15th to the 29th. Actually, no, from the 15th to the 25th. Yes. And then, and then we'll do 6 a.m. as well. Okay. Okay, so let's say, for example, $100 is what we plan on spending over the next 10 days. So what I can do is I can easily go $10 a day, daily budget, or I could just hit the drop down, go lifetime budget, and just do 100 lifetime. Now, okay. the differences are is that with daily, Facebook is going to spend that 10 bucks every day no matter what. Like they're, they're going to just – they're going to – no matter what the traffic is online because – on social media, traffic fluctuates throughout the day. Some days there's it's higher. Some days it are some times of the day it's lower. Like right, example, right. during the day, like everybody's at work. At night is when everyone's at home. Everyone's probably vegging out on their sofa on their cell phone watching social media. At least that's what a lot of people do. You know, so so yeah. the, the peak times of the platform vary throughout the day. So so. A lot of times I don't want to force Facebook to 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 spend the ten dollars if if the traffic is not is not high. Different days vary. So if I just say, hey, you don't need to spend it every day, just spend it over the 10 days. Right. So it just okay. it just, it's just kind of gives <laughs> it gives Facebook more flexibility to just right. spend a different dollar amount every day based on the traffic. Rather than uh, that kind of that kind of handicaps you because say for instance you know one day is higher than ten dollars but it's going to stop you at ten right exactly you so can't it, go over that exactly because okay. that's your daily budget but if I yeah stretched it out and just said hey here's a date period here's a period a time period just spend it within this ten days that that just gives them tons of flexibility and they'll yeah spend, that makes more sense right they'll just yeah. spend it based on the traffic. So, so nine out of 10 times I'll go lifetime and just, and just put in that budget and then just put my, my, my date. Now, again, what I teach, what I teach mainly, yeah, I don't even want to keep using agents because it's all the same, but, but what I've taught forever is, is one video every 15 days. So, okay. so, so two videos a month now. Okay. I have some clients that run one video. In fact, I have one client, like, believe it or not, like, you're not going to believe this, but I have one client who has been running the same. He's a real estate agent. I have one client where he's been running the same video ad every day for the past two years. 
Really? Literally. Does yes. it get the same response or does it increase no, it, or, or go I, down? I, to tell you the truth, I haven't spoken to him in two years. And the only reason why I still know that is because I still see his ad. <laughs> so I'm like, I gosh, you. <laughs> and, and I even, I even, I even messaged him. I'm like, bro, I cannot believe you're still running the same ad. That's yeah. amazing. Like that's crazy. I wonder if he's getting this a different response somehow over time. He has to be getting a response regardless because he, yeah, you know, he wouldn't be running it, and he, you know, he's got yeah. an ROI on it. So, so sometimes you can get away with running one video, but many times. That's part of what we call testing. You got to test. We got to test. Yeah, see really what good. works. We got to see what works. We don't know what works yet. So, yeah. so a lot of times we'll test two a month where we're just running one every 15 days. Okay. Until one that sounds really good. Pops off, you know, until one really pops off and then we can scale that one. Um. So, so let's, so, so, so what we want to do is really figure out what is our monthly budget. That's kind of how we want to okay. break it down is what. What can we spend comfortably um, just to get just to start to get this thing rolling? Whether it's five bucks a day, whether it's ten bucks a day, like five bucks a day is one fifty a month, right? Okay. It starts to add up, obviously. Um, ten okay. bucks a day is three hundred a month, right? Okay. So, so whatever, and and here's here's what I'm here's what I, and this is gonna sound biased because I'm a Facebook guy, but I'm not really a Facebook guy. I'm a, I'm an online advertiser guy where where it could be a different platform, and I'd be telling you about that one. But Facebook continues to dominate, especially for Shopify, Facebook, and Instagram, and even TikTok. Or TikTok's now starting to starting to really dominate as well. But yeah. but, but I'm saying all that to say, if this was my business, 100 percent of my marketing budget would be going to Facebook ads. One I, I know when I when I uh, I listen to other entrepreneurs on TV, mm -hmm. uh, most of their marketing is through Facebook. It what yeah whether it's Facebook or Instagram or or again even yeah TikTok is kind of coming onto the scene now, but but yeah many many companies over the past five six seven eight years, many many big companies, seven figure eight figure even nine figure companies have scaled wow. their Facebook ads. So yeah, so I believe that again whatever the budget is, I I would dump it all into ads. I would dump it all okay. in, and especially with the Shopify store with your product. There's no other way to sell this product. There's really not. There, there isn't. Like you can yeah. have a following on Instagram and post every day, and you might get a sell here and there. You can have thousands yeah. of people that follow you on Facebook. You could have five thousand friends on your personal Facebook page, and that's where you're posting your business. You might have a sell here and there, but 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 not one single website is really successful unless it's unless there's traffic going to it so, yeah it, it's tracking who is really interested in your product really that I, I think that's what it boils down to is it's, it's finding the people who want to buy it yeah it's it is that 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 that's the that's the the targeting but but uh -huh. what, what it really is is the traffic it's the traffic yeah. it's like it's like do i do i just spend my time like let's say for example you're you're in dallas Let's say, for mm -hmm. example, you want to drive to Houston. Yeah. We have two different we, – we may have two options to get there. One way, I could just take the side streets and drive all the way to Houston, <laughs> but, which will probably take you days. <laughs> take, yeah. going, going yeah. the side <laughs> or I can hop on the interstate and maybe get there in a few hours or whatever it may be. Yeah. Right. That's yeah. kind of the difference. It's just traffic. It's it's just it's the speed of, of 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 traffic. I need I need to get thousands and thousands of people to see my stuff by tonight. That's just okay. So you're you're trying it's the amount of people it's in a short people. amount of time. That's all it is. Okay. That's all it is. That's the only that's the only that's the whole purpose of an ad. That's the only okay. that's, the, that's the only purpose of an ad is I, I need ten thousand people to see this by tonight. And that's why I need to run an ad. That's it. That's the only reason. So, so, okay. so when it comes to a website, many of us think that because we have a quote unquote online website, the biggest myth forever for the past 15, 20 years, the biggest myth is the fact that if we have a website, people are going to find it. Right. Uh, and I, I believe that no, I've had a website for, I've built it several months ago and i get almost no traffic no no that, that, i mean that's, it's odd yeah. it, it retracts me getting yes. on there but other yes. than that it's nobody yes that that's that's 99 of every single website no matter what the business is on the internet today yeah no, no one's getting traffic 
because you have to spend for the traffic. I have yes. to spend. I have to run an ad. I have to run a Facebook ad. I have to run an Instagram ad. Or I have to get good at Google. Google search, yeah. Google SEO. That's where we now have to spend money to really get good at running either Google ads or having someone do SEO where our website's shown at the top every single time. Yeah. But but that that is really, really good when you're in a high demand type of business where people are Yeah, I, I could say for our, for a top, you know, yeah, like some uh, yeah, income like a, yes. income uh business that makes a lot of money they have to spend a lot to to bring in traffic yeah i i have no income so it, <laughs> yes. i'm so not we, a i'm not a high roller yeah so we want we don't want to so so we don't want to really mess with google in that case so facebook is 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 king kong for 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 the tracking reasons for the targeting the ability to okay. target and for the cost it's still i can still just spend 5 bucks a day and get some people to see my stuff yeah right and it's very okay. expensive so, so let's say, for example, yeah, let's really walk through this like as if we're really going to do it. Let's say, for example, our budget Perfect. was 300 for the month. Okay. Let's say it was 300 for the month. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take 150 and I'm actually going to spend, run this for 14 days. Actually, I'm going to go, I'll go 15 days. So we'll go from the 15th to the 30th. That's my okay. first test. That's my first ad. I got 300. I'm going to put 150 on this one for 15 days. We'll see how it performs on the 16th day. We'll either shut it off. Actually on the 15th day, we'll either shut it off and have that next video, which is the second video for the month. We'll have that one ready on day 16 and that will go from day 16 to day 30. So is Actually, that your, your trial um, time is 15 days? Yeah. You let it run it, for 15 that's days. That's enough time. Okay. Yeah. So in this case, 15 to the 30th, and then and then and then worse, worse, worst case, if we have to launch that second one, if this one didn't perform, we'll we'll launch the second one on October 1st, and that second one will go from the first to the 15th. Okay. And just keep it that simple. Two videos a yeah. month. That's it. Like, and so again, whether my my budget is is ten dollars a day, that's three hundred a month, there's one fifty on this one ad. Okay. okay. So so that's all I'm gonna do. I'm gonna put that there and then I'm gonna scroll down. And then right here, the, the the location, this is where you would put in different countries. Um, okay. And that's what I'd be doing for sure. Like I would, I would for sure target different countries, not just the U.S. The only thing about that is don't you have to have a license um, to go outside of the United States? No, not Which at all. Which I don't, I don't have. Um, I only have, you know, what we have for U.S., no, you don't, um, you don't need any any uh, any license to to market products on the internet. Um, uh, I mean, to to sell, like to actually sell to another country, you don't need a, a license. Like, say for instance, Canada, you would Canada wouldn't require a license to no. for me to send products to them. They wouldn't. They wouldn't require a license if anything. And Shopify, Shopify would know this as well. You would you would see it in your settings if anything. If anything, it'd be the taxes. So the taxes okay. would be different in 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 different countries. So when they're buying the product and they're so I'd have to set up a, a tax um, certificate with them somehow. In Shopify, and... that that should be a a simple simple setting in Shopify. Um, okay, we'll cross that path when we get there. We'll cross okay. that path when we get there. But but that should be a simple a simple simple setting because every every Shopify store they're not marketing to just the U.S. at all, like at all at all. Like any, but I just had this odd, you know, because U.S. requires every everything under the moon to to have to sell. So I thought other countries did as well, or at least you know the bigger countries, and that you would have to do that, set that up in order to sell to them. That'd be a but good question. I, I don't know. I, I'm not sure. I don't think I don't think you need one at all at all. But that would okay. be a good question to email uh, um, Shopify on. Okay. Just, yeah, yeah. That'd be a simple email you can send to them, and they'll have a great answer for you. And and okay. I and I think it's just the taxes that change. I don't think you need a license at all, at all, at all. Okay. Yeah. So yeah, email Shopify for sure, and and they'll 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 give you a good a good response. Okay. But let's say for example we were targeting different countries. So let's just say Canada, United States, Canada, and and to the right again, we're always looking for country region, not address. Okay. Okay, we're gonna always okay. go country region. Um, let's say another one, Europe. Let's say Europe, or let, actually, it breaks down in different parts of Europe. So let's just say United Kingdom, United Kingdom country. Okay, so that's all you gotta do is just go down the list, a few countries, just like the like ad, and then down uh -huh. here, 
all we're going to do down here is we're going to simply put in, where did our detailed targeting go? Our detailed targeting. Uh, uh, show more options. Yeah, right here. So now. Okay. So here, all we're going to do now, actually, this is our custom audiences. So this is where, this is where you would see. Now we're not going to target this audience right now, but if we were on ad number number, let's say we're at ad, ad number two, this first all things fall video fifteen seconds. This is our audience. This would be ad number two. I would retarget audience number one. So that's ad number one. This is ad number one. If we were on ad number two, that's when we re, that's when we start retargeting these custom audiences. But because okay. this is our first ad, we have no one in that audience, so we don't need to target that audience at all. So we're going to leave that yeah. one link on our first one. But but ad number two and on, then we'll start putting in our custom audiences. And all we got to do is click on custom audiences, and you'll see a bunch of audiences right here that we start to create. Whether it was people that went to your website and didn't buy, whether it was someone that landed on your checkout page and didn't check out. So all was, those people tracked would would show up here yes, as as yes. general audiences yes custom or groups audience. okay yes. wow okay yes. yes yes so now all we're going to do is we'll leave that part blank and then we'll come down to the detailed targeting and this is where okay. you would put in put in a, a and this is this is another part of testing is testing different keywords and so a lot of the times we'll only put in one word at a time and test different words one at a time Okay. Um, that's one very, very, very effective strategy. Um, sometimes people will put five different keywords like we did, did on the like ad and, and, mm -hmm. and, and run that. Um, the only, the only problem with, with that is you just don't know which keyword was the one that really outperformed. You could have probably just put four, one in there out of the five. And, and that was the only keyword we needed. Um, and, and, and so this is a, a very important part of testing is, is, is testing different keywords. What works. So yeah. let's say, for example, we went with arts. Let's just put, let's just put visual arts for the example. That'd okay. be my one keyword. And then I'm going to come down to the bottom placements, leave as is, and that's it. So back to the top, what did we do here? Cause we're going to, we're going to describe it here at the top. What did we do? We put in our budget, which is 150. So I'm going to put 150 dash. And then I'm going to come down. What else did we do? We did the date, September 15th to the 30th, which I'll probably put that too. Let's do that too. September 15th through September 30th. Okay. Okay. And then I'm going to come down here and I'm going to put in, I'm going to put in the countries that we, 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 we targeted United States, Canada, and United Kingdom. So I'll simply put up here, U S Canada, UK. That's okay. it. And then what else did we do? We did one keyword. The one keyword was visual arts. Okay. And that's it. That's it. That's my title. And 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 once we get to the end, you'll see why the titling is is important. Um yeah. so so that that's that. That's that. Now we're good. That's good. So that so now that's step two. We're done. Now all we're gonna do is come now to, to the third and final step. And here we're gonna put all, we'll just do the same as we did on the first step. All things fall video. Okay. And you don't have to put the parentheses awareness. All things fall video. That's all we need up, the, up at the top. And then down here, okay. partnership ads, leave that one off. We don't need anything there. And then down here, just always make sure your Facebook page is right there. Okay. And then Instagram account, you'll connect your Instagram account right there. You'll see it there okay. in the drop down. And then I'm going to come to the ad setup. Here, we're going to go create ad, but we're going to hit the drop down and use existing post. Remember, okay. we posted it on the business page first, right? Okay. So now, now it's going to be there. So as we as we pull, as we click on that, we can come down to whichever video that was, hit continue. And that's when all of our text will already be here. Right. So okay. now we cannot change the text because the text is already right already there. And now we're good to go. Um, yeah. And so all you need to do now is simply you can put a call to action button, but it's it's really not not necessary. The call to action button. Um, you you could put one. So if you have if you have like a um this post can't be used on ads for Instagram. Okay, that's fine. 
Um, normally this to call action. Yeah, normally this lights up where you can click the add button. Where did it go? Yeah, the call to action. I don't know why it's not letting me put a put a a button on this one. Okay, okay, this was one that I shared. That's what it was. Okay, so let me just I could change post, I can change it out. That was one that I posted on my personal page and then I shared it to my business page. So that one's not not allowed. But let's say this one. Let's say that one that was that was the one right there. So now I put that video. That was one that I posted on my business page. Now I can come over here and I can put a call to action button. So I can send message. I can apply now. Now all of these different call to actions, contact us. There's so many, there's so many you can choose from. The best one is learn more. That's it. Learn, learn more. more. Okay. And then all I would do here, now this is a video ad. This video ad, in this case, it's awareness. So that's why when it comes to your objectives, every objective is very, very specific. Let me go back to it really quick. Because what we're doing here is we're running awareness. Awareness is simply for views. And that's why the first video is an intro video. All, all we're trying to do is find our audience. We want to target hundreds of thousands of people and find that 1% that actually watched it. Yeah. So to do that, it's awareness. I want to get thousands and thousands of people to watch this so I can narrow it down to those who watched it for 15 seconds. And those How are long has this been around, the tracking people and how, how did it get uh, – that's probably a broad question. How, did they get so, <laughs> how, did, how are they so smart to even – Yes. How did it even come about? But I know that's a, a, a too big of a question, but has it been around for more yeah. than five years? It's not a big question at all, really. If here, Here's a simple answer. If I knew how Mark Zuckerberg did it, I'd be worth $200 billion myself as well. <laughs> so he's the one that kind of started it, you think? Oh, Mark Zuckerberg, he's the one who founded Facebook. Yeah, it, him and maybe a couple other buddies. But, but he started all this tracking and oh, yeah, this uh, is Oh, really? It's been around since day one of Facebook. Yeah, this is why oh, Facebook has been so. That's that's how they got so popular. Okay. Yes, yes, because of their. We Facebook. just didn't know it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It, unless you're running ads, yeah, you don't know it, and that's where Facebook makes all their money is ads. Wow. So, so everyone that's coming in here and spending one fifty every fifteen days, that's where the billions of dollars come from. Yes, yes. So, so, so this platform, yeah, it's very, very powerful. And so, wow. but I'm showing you this part because this is step one. This is the, the campaign level. This is where we're going to choose the objective. Now, okay. every, these are, and these are simply them. One, two, three, four, five, six, six objectives. That's it. And so where we're going to spend most of our time is on, is on cells and okay. awareness, right? Cells okay. and awareness. So in this case, all we're shooting for is thousands of people to view it. I'm not going for cells with this campaign objective i'm only going for awareness okay so so back here yes i could put my website url for sure you want to do that to do that because you have a website you have a shopify so might as well just put it there but this is not an ad where people are going to even click on it this is not an ad where people are even going to make where you're going to actually get sales because yeah. we're going for awareness so so it's right. kind of like it's kind of like just getting the snowball going Right. We're just when you, when you do awareness, are you are you taking people to a website or you're just getting no. them used to the way the brand looks or something? Yes, you're getting them to view the video. We're just trying to introduce them. Okay, to just the video them. itself. Okay. Video. Yeah. Don't I don't need you to click. I don't need you to buy anything just yet. Okay. Here's our brand. We're introducing ourselves. I'm looking to, to find that audience. Okay. okay. So so it's kind of like a funnel. It's very simple. Yeah. 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 So I'm just taking someone from from one stage to the other. Awareness. First, they watch the, my the video. first baby step. Yeah, baby steps. Okay. First, they watch my video. I know that because they're now in my 15 second audience. Now, as I go to ad number two and on, let's say we go straight to sales. That's when we restart. We we retarget the awareness. So we're going to retarget yes. thousands of people who watched the first video. Wow. Okay. And even even if we go into sales on our second ad. And that's a video, same thing. We're going to create a custom audience of that video, 15 seconds. And now we have custom audience number two. As we okay. go to ad number three, 
now we're retargeting our two previous audiences as we go to add. And then it just builds on there. It just builds on. By the time I'm on ad number 10, I'm retargeting nine audiences. Oh my goodness. No wonder it builds up. Yeah. Yeah. And and that's just on the video side. We're going to also start retargeting those who are clicking on the website because ad number two and on now people will start clicking on the website URL because that's when we're going to now run sales. Yeah. Right. So for okay. ad for two and on, for example, we're going to be running sales and there's going to be many people that click that don't purchase, right? That's just normal. But yeah. we'll have those people in our audience. That's going to be, that's going to be, let's that go. They keep get, seeing, seeing the brand coming through and, and engaging them. Yeah. Yes. So as we start to create audiences or audiences under your website, that's when we come over here, custom audience. And now we do website. Now yeah. we can start okay. tracking different parts of your website. Product one, that that link is tracked. They click, they go to the shopping cart. They don't put in their credit card information. That website link is tracked, right? So okay. every website within our Shopify store is tracked, is set up as a custom audience. That's okay. why like, I know you clicked on the red paint because the red paint web page is my custom audience. So when I yeah. run my next ad, hey, guys, I noticed you were taking a look at the red kit. Notice you didn't purchase it for whatever reason. Hey, we're putting out a 10% discount, 10% off right now. If you purchase within the next 24 hours, click here to purchase now. Okay. So that, Very cool. that's a strategy yeah. a lot in, when it comes to Shopify, when it comes to products, is, is, is creating the audience and then retargeting them with some kind of discount code. Okay. And letting them know, hey, guys, we noticed you looked at the red handbag. We noticed you looked at the, at the blue paint brushes. Like, right, that's when it starts to get super narrow because we have our audiences. Yeah. Right. Okay. So, so and that's when your your ads really start to become most relevant because now you're just simply showing them to people who have seen you before. Yeah. And it just and they're interested. Yeah. Yeah, and they're interested. Okay. You would have never clicked yeah. on that blue paint kit if it didn't interest you. Why did you even click on it? Right. right? Why Especially you- for 15, if they watched it for 15 seconds. Yeah. 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 And then they click and then they go to the checkout and they just don't check out for whatever reason. Like you got pretty far within my page. Now I'm going to retarget you. Yeah. Right. Yeah. So, so, so again, this is a lot of information I'm throwing at you right now. Don't, don't worry about having a master. Oh, it's very interesting. I, you know, it all makes sense now. <laughs> all the marketing are the, the commercials that I see and the, yes. Yes. the ads and the, mm-hmm. it, it all makes sense. Yeah. Yes. Yes. So, so here, long story short, This is an awareness ad. Yes, we could put our website there. Let's just call it a artist touch.com. Let's just say it was that. So there, I'd put it there, update the post. And then now I'm going to scroll down. Give me one second. Um, Okay, perfect. So, so let's say that that's the video. I added my, my call to action button and that's it. That's it. So down here, tracking, um, we don't need tracking right, right now, because this is just awareness. So as long as we have our custom audiences set up for the videos, that's all the tracking we need there. Um, but once I really put your pixel, once we really find out what pixel we're using for your Shopify, then, then, then yeah, we'll be going website events, um, and making sure that this pixel is active. All right. So, so that's when we'll go into more of, of the pixel, but for now, just on awareness, just on the video, that's all. We don't need any any of this tracking. It's the custom audience is already set up. So that's the call to action. I click on publish. And as I publish, this publishing one of three, that blue, we need it to go green. If it goes red, then there's some type of error. And Facebook will tell you, all you'll do is click on it and they'll walk you through what the error was. Um, okay. And a lot of times the error would be, the error could be, the error could be, um, a video that, that was not that, that you share on your business page. That was not your video. Like let's say you post it on your personal profile and then you shared it to your business page and you try to run an ad on it. Then that would be red and they'll walk you through. You can't use this video because this video was shared. Um, Yeah. Another, another, another time it'll turn red is if, is if, is if your ad account wasn't set up. So if there was no credit card on file, then they'll flag you right here and okay. so your card update your card or you have an out, out you have an outstanding balance take care of your your payment 
it, okay. it, it'd be somewhere along those lines where, where that would turn red, not green. And then they'll just walk you through how to, how to fix it. But okay. 99% of the time, as long as we just go through these three basic steps that, that turns green. And then once it turns green, we X out here in the top left and we are done. And so right here, processing third tab, this is the ads tab processing okay. the middle tab ad set. This is scheduled. So they already, so when it says schedule, they've already approved it just like the like ad. So here they approved or they approved my targeting. They approved my budget. They approved my calendar, the start and end date. They approved, um, um, the, the interest targeting. So we put the, we put the location targeting. We put, we put keyword targeting. They approved all that. That's okay. And then over here on the first tab the campaigns scheduled they approved the objective which in this case it was awareness okay, okay. So, so now so step one post on the business page first step two create the custom audience step three create the ad and 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 that's it and then and then so here's where the titling becomes important as you start to run a ton of ads you want to know which ad that is right what well, so in case you want to run it again you want to know what you're your objective is, I guess. Yeah. Or, or if, you, or vice versa. Yeah, for sure. Or vice versa. In case you don't want to run it again, you'll, you'll know what yeah. that is. But if we didn't name it, all things fall video awareness. And then over here on the ad set level, 150, 15th to the 30th, the, the, the yeah. countries that we're targeting. If I didn't give it a, a proper description, I wouldn't know what the heck was going on within that ad. So right. Which is not a not a not really a big big deal, but it kind of is because now I'm gonna have to go into the ad, click on edit. I'm gonna have to micromanage everything and see what the hell was going on when I yeah. Click. You can quickly look at it and see how it did do. compared to the other ones. That's all you yeah. gotta do is just look at it. Not not necessarily how it did, but I could just look at it and know exactly what what ad that was. Okay. Right. I, 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 I know I was targeting three countries. I know that went for 15 days. I know I spent 150. I could just look at the title and know exactly what happened. Yeah. Right? Not as far as the metrics and how many people clicked or per, not, not any of the, um, any of the analytics, just, you just want ad. details quickly. I yeah. just want to know what ad that was. Right. Like, okay. so that's, that's the, the point of, of really giving it a, a description at the top. So yeah, that makes sense. So, so here the campaign, I just named it what we named the custom audience. The ad set, I named it what we did below, right? That's everything okay. we did below. And then the, on the third tab, I just simply all things video, all things okay. all video again. Yeah. And that's it. And that's it. And so- It makes sense. It's very, you make it so easy. Yeah. Well, it, it, it kind of is, but 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 now, now it just comes down to testing and it just comes down to yeah. having an actual budget. A lot of people and I and 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 I'll say this in closing because this is really the, the icing on the cake. Out of out of teaching literally hundreds of people, I don't know if I'm in the thousands, but uh, yeah, I don't know if I'm in the thousands, but but I'm I'm in the high hundreds for sure. Doing this since 2016, 2017-ish, talking about the same darn thing. <laughs> I uh, w one thing that 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 the common denominator is the fact that I've taken hundreds and hundreds of people to the finish line. But yeah. I just can't force okay. them to stay consistent with the ad. I can't yeah. force them to run a new ad every month. I can't force them to keep testing different ads. Many, many, many of my clients, and this is what kind of discourages me as a coach, and I'm glad Jeremy's listening to this because this is where we're at, is running the ad. Many, many times people get discouraged after just a few ads. Yeah, right? the, the ad didn't didn't make them seven figures, so they're they're discouraged and they never want to run a Facebook ad again. the The ad wasn't profitable on the first two ads, so now they're just throwing in the towel. When it's like we're just getting started, like we now now we're at the finish line. Now it's time we're on the one yard line. Dallas Cowboys, we're on the one yard line. Just cross the damn yard line. Just freaking cross. Get into the end zone. <laughs> right. What's what's the what's the average um like starting from your your initial video. Uh, to I don't know, a uh, few months. How long oh, do you think no, it's, it takes to get it, some kind of good awareness? I guess. Good question. It could it could pop off on the on the first one, but then again, it could pop off on the seventh one. But see, yeah, I guess it depends on the video too. Yeah, but what you also want to want to keep in mind and and also take into account is the fact that as you start to run ads, video ad, um, sells for 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 purchases. What you're doing here on the back end is creating all of these audiences. So if I'm not getting a sell necessary, let's say I ran five ads 
and I and 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 there were videos, let's say. And now I have mm -hmm. tens of thousands of views on these five videos. Okay. That's data that I did not have before. Yes, my right. didn't turn into seven figures and I haven't sold a bunch of product just yet. But I got all this, I I I um um I collected all of this data. Now I have these five buckets full of thousands of people who have seen me online, who have seen right. my product, who have seen my face. That's worth something. So so a lot okay. of people, we're not just paying for the lead or we're not just paying for the sell. We're also paying for the data. We yeah. have and, and it's and it's these custom audiences. It's the custom audiences. I can run this ad and get 15,000 views. I now own that that I don't own the name and number because it's not a lead or a sell just yet, but the data, I can now leverage that data and show them another video. Yeah. Show them another ad. Show them another ad. Show them another ad. So I can piggyback right. off of the data. I can piggyback off of these audiences. I can piggyback off of every ad that I've ran. And that's where I think most, not people that I coach for sure, but just in general, that's where I think most people drop the ball is they don't create these audiences. They don't create the audiences. They just run ads and 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 just try to wing it and try to make it work without ever creating audiences, right? So so the audiences are what it's all about. We have to roll out. We have to put out video number one. Video yeah, I to me, if you right. just create a, an ad and get people to go to your website or, or whatever it is, but you don't do anything else with it, then right. what was the purpose exactly. if nothing came out that, of it? That's what, that's what, that, that's how, and that's what 99% of rookie Facebook advertisers right. do. They just, I can see, yeah. And, and, and that's it. They never collected that audience and they never retargeted them with another ad. Right. So that's why staying consistent is what I'm trying to say. Yeah. Right? And I, I think that makes sense. And it builds on, it builds on top on. of that's the next one and the next snowball. one. Yeah. It's a snowball, but most people, most people give up before the snowball is, is, is fully, is fully matured. You got, yeah. it's a snowball. We have to get the ball rolling. And, yeah. and that's why it's like, man, to, to really, really make it make sense. It's like, just like the analogy, the traffic, the freeway versus taking the side street like like with Jeremy, he's gonna be traveling. He's come, he's going from 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 um um Jeremy, where are you at again? Gosh, I forgot where you at. Where you where you at? What state? Jeremy, you there? I'm I'm in Indiana. Indiana, Indiana. He's come. He's 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 traveling this this week from Indiana to San Diego. If okay. he, took a, wow. he has two ways to get there, he can drive or he can fly. Right, he's flying. He said, forget the drive. That's going to take me a whole freaking <laughs> few days. I'm jumping yes. on a plane, right? It's, 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 it's the speed. All ads are is the speed. Like we went over a few minutes ago, it's the speed. So when it comes to a product on the internet, on the, a product on social media, just in general, you have to run an ad. Like there, there's well, no, it seems way like it. everybody's attention span would be so short that if you took too long doing things, you'd, you'd lose your audience. You, yeah, that that's a possibility as well. But just the fact yeah. that if we have a business, we have to have a marketing budget. That's that's just the bottom line. And and again, it yeah. sounds super biased when I say go all in with Facebook ads. But if it was something else, I'd be telling you that. But but it remains it remains Facebook. So I, I I would just go all in. I'd have a comfortable budget, whatever you can comfortably spend per month, and just go all in and keep running ads, keep running ads, keep running ads, keep running ads until we find that one that. And here's here's how it really works. You'll run ad after ad to answer to kind of answer your question. Maybe it'll take three ads. Maybe it takes four, five, six. But by the time that ad pops, let's say it pops on our eighth ad, that eighth ad makes up for everything we just spent. Yeah. That's how okay. it works. Okay. So it varies. And, and so it, could, it, could, it could, yeah, it could, it could vary. But once that ad actually pops, the one, the win, the winning ad, then, then, then we, we recoup everything that was just spent. Yeah. You know, so yeah, I can see that. Yeah. So, so you got, you got to just stay consistent. You got to just keep running ads and that's, that's what everyone does. They just, they, well, the successful ones, they just keep running ads. Yeah. Keep running ads. Yeah. I, I would, I would certainly have to do that to keep up with everybody else. Yeah. So, <laughs> so that's a video ad, Diane. That's how we kind of go from start to, okay. start to finish post, create the custom audience and then, and then create the ad and, and okay. it back and, and let it run. And then also don't micromanage it. Like just let it run, like let it run, let okay. it run. Days. Cause we're, we're going to be, we're going to, we're going to be speaking weekly. So, so you don't even have to worry about looking at the numbers. Like we'll review them together. Once we jump back on our next call, for example. Yeah. 
So, um, and then I'll teach you how to read the numbers, the analytics and all that stuff too. Like, so you'll okay. that part, but, but as far as needing to micromanage it, like, don't, don't worry about it. Once it, once the bottom turns green and it's scheduled to go live tomorrow, let it run, let it run, yeah. let it run. Okay. Cause yeah, let it okay. run. So, so that's that I'll send you this recording tonight and then okay. uh, say today's Thursday. Yeah. Today's Thursday. Yes. Yeah. Let me know if Monday works and then, and then I'll, I'll schedule us and we'll go from there. And okay. then the next call, I'm going to teach you how to create custom audiences around your website links. Okay. Today was custom audiences on a video. We're going to do, we're going to do our website next. And that's when you'll share your screen and, and we'll go into, into Shopify, Shopify and get your most important or not important, but your highest engaged pages, which are probably just okay. a few. And, and we'll yeah. create custom audiences around, around those. Okay. All that before. Sounds we, good. Before Sounds good. Do. Cool. Okay, Dan, thank you so much for your time. I'll be a message away if you need anything else. Um, and let's chat Monday. Okay. Sounds good. Thanks. Thank you. Okay. Y'all have a good weekend. Okay. You too. Good night. Bye-bye. Right. Thank you. Bye-bye. Breaking it.